Hey everybody, Paradox here. Welcome back. Last episode, we made our way through the glacial cavern. Uh, we finished fighting off the bear, and now we've made it to here, the Soviet installation. Uh, we met a woman, Sophia. Uh, she seems to be some sort of tracker and perhaps has traces to the Mongolian Empire. We'll find out more in the future, I'm sure. But for now, our objective is to explore this little area. And by little, I mean, oh good god, it is massive. Oh, I see shiny. Shinies are always good. Uh, hello rabbit, I do not want to kill you. Like, at all. Unless I absolutely have to. Huh, wonder if we'll be able to access this one day. So I really want to be on the hold right trigger to use wood and feathers. Yeah. I know. Oh, dead body up ahead. Oh, wood. Did I miss anything else? Oh god, yeah. Yeah, here's some more wood. I think we're maxed out on feathers. Oh. Yes. Oh damn it, I thought it was going to be a relic. So, one of our main priorities is going to be to find a map. I want to be able to locate all the... Nothing I can do for him now. I, mean, I want to be able to locate all of the collectibles and the relics. All units just got word. Constantine is on his way down from the prison. We need to get this mess in order before he arrives. Hey, can anyone hear me? God damn it, we gotta get comms back up. Indeed. First day in Siberia, and it happens. Two years in Afghanistan, and another in Indonesia, nothing. But one day out here on the ice, and pop, I get a kill. I watched the man's eyes go glassy as he begged me for something. I'm not Russian, I'm no clue. I waited with him, and watched. One minute he was there, and next, nothing. Just meat. I got sick on the snow, all mixed in with the kid's blood, but he's just meat now, and I'm alive. Constantine keeps telling us we're out here for a special reason, tells us we're doing God's work. I'm starting to see that now. Sounds like he's trying to have some sort of mental defense mechanism. Doesn't quite look like a kid though, but yeah. Kinda sucks. Alright, so there's an enemy up ahead. And I'm pretty certain that Constantine is the the guy that we met back in Syria. Alright, one person there. Just the one. Alright, easy kills. So he doesn't turn around, of course. Never seen anything like that. Crazy son of a bitch. Rushing three armed men with an axe? I don't know how they managed to take one of them alive. Who the hell are these people? You know, Initial recon that. said there was an old village up on these mountains. But they expected farmers. Thought they'd surrender without firing a shot. Farmers? Shit. These are trained guerrilla fighters. Looks like they drove the Soviets out of here. Might be a good sign. If they're protecting something hidden in the mountain, then we're in the right place. So, do you know what it is we're after? No, it's need to know for the rank and file. But it's gotta be important. They don't usually run ops this big. Mm -hmm. Been in the field for less than a year. Nothing's come close to this. We haven't had an operation this big since the island. But that was a cleanup job. Now, this is something else entirely. You want some advice? Keep your head down. Don't ask too many questions. Okay. I really didn't want to interrupt them because they a lot of the dialogue between the soldiers is usually really interesting. I noticed that a lot in the uh the first Tomb Raider. Okay, so hold up. They're really clumped up together. So can I like is there a parabolic arc? Yes, okay, phew. 
I was worried that I would actually stand up and aim it. Uh, okay, so I'll aim this. Uh... If those are bushes over there that I can take cover in, it might be good. So let's send them, like, over there. I think I heard something. I'll take a look. Be careful. This come from so freaking nervous. Okay. Wow. It's so stressful with these kinds of games because you never know at what instant the enemy is gonna turn around. Because they turn around uh, too early and you get caught, then it's essentially the way these games are is usually. You get caught, and then, like, a million enemies just swarm to your presence. Which kind of sucks. Uh, some games kind of mitigate that. They, they give you a few chances. Like, if someone spots you and you kill them, like, within, like, a second or two, then you're saved. But for the most part, it's it's not always like that. And definitely makes it harder on the player. Uh, more bottles. Oh, they could have snuck, like, all the way around. That's really good. I really like that we have we actually have stealth options in this game. Tomb Raider was well let's just say it was limited. Alright, bird's nest. Anything up top? I don't think so. Yeah, I can't climb up. Okay. Let's grab this wood. I don't know where she's storing all this stuff, but things you must never question. Huh. Oh. There's more of them arriving. Yep. Okay, so we can scramble. And don't we get soon enough here to shut that pump off? I want those crates as far away from the fire as possible. Double time. There's ammo in there, and we can't afford to lose it. Haven't heard any shots for a few minutes now. I think we're in the clear. Don't count on it. Stay alert until we get the <gasps> oh, that is so brilliant! So if I were to shoot this guy in yellow now, no one would technically see it. Not for me to say. It took one of the natives alive for question, but it cost us three men. Okay, so let's grab this. Constantine expects more from us. Someone's gonna pay for that mistake. Prioritize the live rounds and keep them separate from the rest. What was that? Got a feeling we'll want those in easy reach. Yes, sir. Shit. Most of these raptors were burned in the blast. Something's not like this one, the loss. Can I get this? Yes. Come on, come on. Nice. Okay, so now we have bunch of enemies that no one has actual vision on. This is good. This is really good. I really don't want to fuck this up, though. There's a guy up top. If we can snipe him... Oh, that'd be so good. He just keeps moving. Oh, wait. Okay. So stressful. God, my heart is just pounding right now. Okay. This is the last one, and then we can run back and explore. Alright, sorry. Your dialogue, I'm sure, is interesting, but I cannot risk you turning around and seeing all of your dead buddies. Sorry, guy. Alright, so we got a whole bunch of bottles. So, the one thing I really want to do, and maybe try to test it out, is just, if someone sees you, how easy is it, or how difficult is it, to get back into hiding? Because that's, that's a really important question into, as to whether or not stealth is going to be very viable for us. 
Alright, bird's nest. Bird's nest. There's something up there. That's yellow. I guess that's where we're supposed to go anyways. I think that's about it. Okay. Oh, man. Do we get a checkpoint after that? I really hope so. Some more salvage. Good. We're going to be able to pick up... Oh, shit. We're going to be able to upgrade our... Our bow again soon. Which is really good. Alright, what have we got here? What is all this stuff? I can't... Uh, Kitej... Uh, those are coordinates. Uh, pictures of the Prophet. Map... Is that where we are? I think so. That's pretty cool. Neat little touches. Alright. Uh, what do we got up here? Alright, nothing there. I love these garbage bins. Oh! Yes. I know I've taken some jobs of questionable legality, and I know you're not happy about it. But I couldn't pass up this contract. Been trying to get work with Trinity for years. They're discreet, the pay is obscene, and they always have opportunities. Now here I am, and I already want out. We're at an abandoned Soviet installation in the middle of nowhere. No one's telling us low-level contractors what's going on, but I think I might be helping some seriously scary people get a nuke or something equally awful. Honestly, that's the best case scenario. Ping me back if you get this. I've carved out hmm. a secure channel on the network. For an operation like this, you'd think they'd have better security, but I guess that's why they hired me. That's interesting. I like how, you know, some of these people, they are kind of hesitant, I would say, about working for Trinity. It's definitely nice. It humanizes the characters a little. There's a guy I shot over here somewhere. There you are. Thank you for the... Oh, it's just cloth. Who is that, actually? Maybe it's the Prophet. Maybe it's Jesus. Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, do we get a bow part? Nope, semi-auto pistol. Yeah, where is our Oh, right, we probably lost it when we uh, fell, or maybe she didn't even have it equipped. Way back at the beginning, before the avalanche. Not too sure. Also, what, what, I ha what has me worried are, are parts of the game where you're inevitably gonna be forced to fight. Like, how's that gonna turn out for me? Oh, I'm so nervous. Maybe for those encounters I lower the difficulty? Who knows? I cannot read Russian. Whoa. Oh, it's a cute little rat. Hello. Alright, we're gonna have to burn that, I'm sure. Sweet. A little bit more salvage never hurt. That's it. We're out of time. Shoot him. He'll talk or he'll bleed out. After. The Red Army is coming. I've been tracking them for weeks, watching as hundreds of men build the iron monstrosity across the ice. Men have died, their frozen bodies left scattered in the tundra. No rites of passing, no burial or burnings. These new invaders are cruel, godless men. Do they come seeking the precious metals of the mountain? Or like so many before them, are they drawn here by the divine source? My people must again prepare for war. Alright, sounds about right. right now, tell us 
Nice little shitty revolver. Well, I say shitty, but it might actually be pretty decent. Alright. Let's free this guy. You know, once I. Well, I don't recognize that language. They have him in prison. Got. Got to. Oh no. No, no, no. Shit. Okay, I'm gonna use a goner. Uh, which way do we go? That way or? Oh, this is where we're. Ah, it's locked. Oh, oh, we can get lock picks. I wonder if we can craft lock picks actually. Yes, sir. But we didn't expect such heavy resistance. You were to be my eyes. I expected you to see. You must know what is at stake with this operation. Yes, but no. No. You don't. No. How could someone like you? Ugh. Go easy. Go easy. Don't fear the suffering. Oh my god. Our goal is within reach, but we must be vigilant. If we succeed here, a new world awaits. One of our own making. Constantine, you're needed back at the prison right away. We've got a captive who might know something about the artifact. Remain faithful. We will share in the glory of the divine source. Wow. I really want to put a bullet in that guy's head. Oh god. Please. What are we doing? No. Nobody touch him. Looks like we got another fuel leak. What the hell happened? This thing is 50 years old. Yeah, it looks like the valve failed. All right, let's get it shut. We can't afford to lose any more after that attack. Still having trouble uh, yeah, with the old yeah. fuel system. Don't raise any red flags yet. We're working on it. Just need some more leverage. Damn it. Coupling is stripped. You want to give me a hand? Yeah, sure. Uh, I can't. Can't get to him. Just yet. Wait for it. Oh, here we go. Now we can. Lol. Lol. Glitches. Okay. We're gonna lose all this goddamn fuel. Okay, How's so hold it look? Up. Damn it. Come on. Hold on. That's too much force. Take it easy. Oh, goddamn thing is rusted through. How's it look? Oh, there's someone there. Hang on. Nah, I'm not sure I can stop the leak. If this doesn't work. We'll have to crimp the pipe until we get a new valve. Not sure we'll be able to find spare parts. Wait, how do here. I cancel this? Shit. I want to let go of the thing. Here we go. Because if I can get rid of this guy up top, then that's one less bad guy to worry about. All right. Hang on, I'm gonna wait for him to do one more rotation. He's gonna go back. He's gonna turn around. Now's our chance. Okay. Now we grab this. 
Now we toss it you know, here. to do that? I feel like I was. Oh, this guy's also dead now. Oh, shit! How do we heal? Okay. Cool. Alright, how am I gonna get to this guy, though? Oh, hold up. I have an idea. I'm so crafty. Alright, so he's over there, right? But there's an explosive barrel over there. And... Yep! It killed them. Alright, thank you environmental objects. Alright, these guys are burnt to a crisp. They're not going to be needing anything. Can I climb up there and loot that dead guy? Oh, yes I can. Oh. Risky, risky, risky. I don't know where his body went. Oh. Did his body fall down? Oh, is this his body? Yeah, I guess so. Is there anything else here that is lootable? Nope. Let us carry on. Alright, hopefully no one else heard that big boom. Oh. Herbs. Alright, that's good. I really want to get an ability that lets us get more resources. That'd be nice. What's this? More Soviet propaganda. Night won't prevent us from working. Cool. Our Russian's almost level two. Got some nice wood over here. crazy right that's glowing as in like interactive I think it's something oh man I'm so confused oh oh it's just a dead guy oh man I got super excited for a second I was hoping it was another artifact darn oh well at least we have an, an, an actual gun now like I feel like if in this game if push comes to shove, I can't play the same way as I did the last one. I will have to use my guns, because otherwise I will probably get my butt beaten by this game over and over. Alright, let's see what we've got here. Constantine is here. The man who tried to kill me in Syria. He's violent, dangerous, but worse, he appears entirely devoted to his misguided beliefs. I seem to have a habit of running afoul of religious zealots. <laughs> I suppose it all goes with the territory. His men on the radio mentioned a prisoner with information. Could it be one of the natives I've encountered? And if so, what does he know? Trinity will not be kind in their methods. Perhaps I can find him. Find out what he knows. Earning the trust of the locals might prove useful. I agree with Lara, what Lara said. And on to this. Okay, so we have 28 salvage. I think we grab this upgrade. And we grab this upgrade. Yeah? So that costs 12. But that's fine. Because if we can fire faster, and we can load them faster, it, it, it'll it probably help us in getting more sneak kills. Uh, and it might be easier to time things. And then for this one, I might be more inclined to go for damage in case I actually have to fight someone really quickly. I'll just like empty a whole clip into them. So let's do that. Craft that. And... Um...
I feel like I'll I might grab wrapped handle at some point if I start to actually feel the need for it. Uh, now there was a tactical thing. Yeah, here we go. Increase carrying capacity of all special ammunition. So if we grab this, I don't know, but it it just looks weird. Uh, yeah, definitely not. Oh, this is actually pretty good. Let's go for this one. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Blend into snowy surroundings. All right, so Larry now has a white jacket. And I think we're going to take a nice little break here. Next, uh, next episode, we're going to continue hunting for that prisoner. Hopefully, we can uh, find him. Wait. Oh, okay. Never mind. All good. Coolio. Man, that Constantine guy, though. Ugh. Horrible. Horrible. Wait, it reminds me of, uh... Oh, what was his name? Caleb from, uh... What was it? The 8th? The ninth season of Buffy the Vampire Slayer? One of the last seasons. Played by, uh... Nathan Fillion. Super creepy enemy. Villain. Anyways, thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I will see you all next time. Take care. Bye.